Okay, I'd like to call the regular Board of Trustees meeting to order for Tuesday, January 4th, 2022 at 7 o'clock p.m. And roll call, please. Trustee Matz? Here. Trustee Here. Nelson? Here. Newman? Here. Height? Here. Here. Okay, the village president is absent this evening, so the board will need to vote on a presiding officer uh, for the remainder of the board agenda. So entertain a motion to nominate. Can I motion? Sorry. Can I motion to approve Brian Pike as new president, fill in president. And I'll second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, and Brian, it's on to you. All right, item number two on the agenda is review and approve the minutes from the regular board meeting of December 7, 2021. Move to approve the minutes from the regular board meeting December 7, 2021. I second that. Any discussion, corrections, additions? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Item number three, comments from the floor, and we have no folks. So we'll go to item number four, change of agent, quick trip approval requested. I move to approve the agent listed as Eli Spielman for quick trip number 935. Second. Say, I think at this point. Is that Mary? Yes. Mary seconded, okay. Any questions, comments? Just in general, basically, so you, it's a normal practice. They come in, chief, and then you do the background check and all that and go through all that steps and. Right. Yeah. No. The chief recommended them for approval? Yes, he did, yeah. I did. Any other discussion? Oh. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right, item number five, new business from the board or staff. Our president is not here. Um, administrator. Um, the only thing I have is to mention that the deadline to file candidate paperwork for the spring election was today by 5 o'clock p.m., and we had four candidates file paperwork. Um, and the spring election will be on April 5th, 2022, and I won't know until maybe the end of this week if we'll need a spring primary in February. I saw some uh, stuff going on in the newsletters that we get from the state. Um, there was a question about whether that spring election or the primary would come off on time based on some lawsuits or something that are going on. Or oh, I, I don't know. Okay, you haven't heard anything about nope, that. But we only have to have the spring primary as if we had, say, seven candidates file uh, for three positions or if the school mm. or the judge. And to my knowledge, I don't believe the school district there's a need. I don't believe there's a need for the county supervisor. I believe there's two candidates for one position on that. Melissa, Here, so. when will the voters know who the candidates are any time prior to the ballot? Um, well, once I get a uh, sample ballot, that's posted under the election tab. So at that time? Mm -hmm. Unless the paper decides to do some kind of interviews or something, which I don't know if they will, but that's all I have. Okay. Thank you. That takes us to item six, plan commission recommendations and updates. Anything, Paul? Plan commission didn't meet. So nothing? Nothing. All right. Item number seven, personnel and finance committee recommendations. Item A, claims approval requested. Can I move to approve December 2021 non-recurring claims of $39,892.76 and January 2022 non-recurring claims of $7,051.69? I'll second that. <clears throat> okay, any questions? Um, were these reviewed by the Finance Committee and approved? They were, yes. yep. And nothing out of the ordinary? No. All right. Any other questions? Spending issue, Mary? Yes. Amy? Yes. 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 And yes. Okay, that passed. Item B, increase of mobile home permit fee, approval requested. Can I approve to move the 2022 mobile home trailer park permit 
for Pamela. Wait, are we doing that one first? Oh, yeah, you get oh. that. This is just to increase the mobile yep. home permit fee, but it's not for her. No. Oh, sure. Can I move to approve the permit fee from $25 to $50? Second. All right. Um, any questions? Melissa, do you want to kind of bring up why this was changed? <laughs> uh, yes. At the last um, board meeting, we the board approved the mobile home permit for... Pam Zappa, and it was brought up by Trustee McGurin that was questioning the fee if it could be higher. Um, per, it is set by statute, minimum of 25, maximum of 100 per 50 spaces. Um, to my knowledge, as far back as I can look, it's never been increased. Mm. Um, and most municipalities charge between 50 and $100. I would caution above going above 50 at this point just because we only have six spaces, but so it's just recommendation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Spending issue? Tim? Yes. 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 That one passes. It wasn't spending, but that's okay. okay. Item C. <laughs> Resolution 2022-01-01, revising North Hudson fee schedule approval requested. Can I approve to, can I recommend to approve the resolution 2022-01 Revisiting the North Hudson fee schedule. I'll second that. Okay, and this is just, uh, as you guys can see, a sheet that has added that $50 fee to it. And it appears as if that's the only thing that was changed, a formality. That's the only thing that was changed Okay, on it, yes. great, thank you. All right. Any other questions? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Item D. Animal Impounding Services Contract, Woodbury Animal Humane Society, approval requested. I make a motion to approve the Animal Impounding Service Contract with Woodbury Animal Humane Society. Second. Okay, and uh, in your document it shows the changes. Mm -hmm. Any questions or comments? This also was reviewed and approved by the Finance Committee. It was. 3% increase, we're looking at a 3% increase from the prior, which is within inflation. I think they've increased it each year, haven't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. They do a slight increase. It's a slight, so, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, any other questions? It's a suspending issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> suspending <laughs> issue. Mary. Yes. 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 And yes. That uh, passed. Item E under personnel and finance is 2022 staff and equipment rates. Approval requested. I motion to approve the 2022 staff and equipment service rates. Second. All right. Any questions about that sheet? Um, could just a little bit of background in what ways are, are these uh, fees used? Yeah, go ahead. Melissa. So this is something we do each year. Um, the public works director reviews the equipment, um, suggests changes to it, and then Nathan does the staff rates. And the way that this is used is if public works or the police department or any of us need to do uh, work on someone's property because they didn't follow through with a notice that they had to mow their lawn or trim uh, the vision triangle or um, working at the bike run, uh, things like that, these are the rates we use if we need to use a piece of our equipment or our service or our staff to do that. So these are the rates we charge. Okay, any other Thank questions? Does yeah. any issue? No. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Item eight, Public Works Committee recommendations. The uh, committee did meet. We have nothing to bring forward. Um, there was a discussion about the water service agreement quarterly meeting attendees and uh, the Public Works made recommendations. Melissa reminded me this is not a committee assignment and um, our recommendations were the director, the administrator and uh, the PUC person representing us at the PUC uh, and possibly one of the Public Works uh, um, committee members mm -hmm. but it, you know so the, the the base group is set in the contract right 
And that's Village President Melissa in Public Works. So, you know, I, I would recommend, I guess, if you had a specific issue where you needed someone to be there, you know, uh, like Nathan, if there was an issue that's talking about money or whatever, then you bring someone that I wouldn't get too big of a group to go. Okay. Any other comments? So, so that's the minimum that needs to be there is what's oh, okay. already stated in the contract. And yes, it's not a committee, but other people certainly can attend, you know, as needed, you know, or I mean, that's fine. Yeah. You, but you don't, I don't see the need to do a formal motion. But yes, if the PUC chair or public works member want to come, that's fine. You know, that's fine with that. It's just, it's not a committee. And then the purpose of the meeting is to address issues that arose in the previous three months. So I know they just got done with like hydrant flushing. So that's something that'll be on the agenda that we'll talk about is how did it go? Things that didn't go well, do we need reports? Things like that. Um, yeah, I think based on the agenda, you know, you add a person that would be in that area. Mm. Have you placed them on the calendar yet? I mean, do you know when? No, I haven't heard from uh, Aaron, he's the one that's supposed to reach out, so I'm going to reach out to him tomorrow. Okay, because so it's time, right? Yet. It is time. He was that's supposed up. to reach out last week, so I have it on my calendar to email him to say, hey, it's time. Mm -hmm. So once I have that, I'll definitely let everybody know. And then if you want to let me know who else may be attending, okay. and that's, that's fine. And okay. then will there be reports back to the Public Works Committee or back to the board on the contract? Like we do with other contracts, we monitor for the ambulance and other things. How will we be monitoring that at the board level? Um, well, this is all fairly new, so right. I guess... Um, <laughs> Probably board, I would yeah. say. Yeah, well, we'll come back to the board. So whoever everybody knows. Designate someone to report, just like you know these committees report back. Just put it on the agenda to report the outcome of the meeting. And yeah, because it's definitely not going to be rehashing the agreement. That is done. No, right. No. <laughs> right. No, it's just, not, yeah. but it's to address issues, like I said, that ever arose and brought to the attention of me or Patrick or whoever else saw that there is an issue. I think it's important to have an agenda and have it be consistent, you know, oh, tell Aaron that. I mean, yep. you agree, right? Yeah. Well, and Public Works has right. passed things up to Melissa that we thought should be covered. Uh, as far as the agenda items? Agenda yeah. items, right. Um, and those are great ideas, not right. that all that stuff is not going to go right. on every agenda, but it's stuff to watch for. Right. Okay. Yes, right. and that's what we need, and so nothing gets missed. But if things come up in that, and like say the, I think, the treasurer was mentioned. There's not really a need for him to come to the meetings until like maybe the third year and we're talking about the license fee. Right. Is that enough or is it not enough? And what do we need then? You know, he should come then. But that's the only fee we get from the water bill is the license fee. When we get to sewer, that's a whole different story. But, mm -hmm. um, but that's when you can bring people in. Yeah, the idea of these meetings is to prevent bigger disputes down the road keep right. the communication open if there's an issue fix it now don't wait nine months and then bring it up so that's why you know you need good community you're probably in the front line mostly on on that so if there's an issue that needs to come up you know get it on the agenda and mm -hmm. talk about it so we address it right now Right, so my first step is to contact Aaron and say have you thought of a date we need to get this on the calendar for January and then I'll send him Good. the agenda items we need to address Good. Um, for that. Good. But yeah, I think coming back to the full board would probably be the start there. And you do the reports, Melissa, or um, would they? I don't know if I would or not. Patrick, maybe? Um, we'll have to decide on that. Okay. Well, we're hoping it's televised, right? I'm going to ask that it, it be televised. Okay, right? so we'll be able to look at it. That'll be great. Yeah, that would I think be. it's important that it's televised. Because that will give us all an opportunity to, to give her better feedback on what we think, mm -hmm. what else might need to be discussed. And this is all like going to be the first one, so I guess we're going right. to have to kind of work through it. But, right. yeah, it'll be me yep. or Patrick or somebody that will come. Yep. All those things sound good. I think it's better to have a lot in place and potentially back off than to get down the road. And if there is conflict, to then be looking for increases in you know being a televised agenda wh who's there whatever I think mm -hmm. since it is new it is I'm hoping that it stays manageable and 
not too because you just don't want it too many people there. Nothing's ever going to get done. Right? Yeah. No one's going to talk. But well, we'll that's the point of having an, of having an agenda going into the meeting. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you stay on track. Right. Exactly. Right. When you get this timing and agenda and stuff, would you inform the yeah. board of what's mm -hmm. going to be on there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Certainly. Great. Great. And then it goes to River Channel for a request for. I'll email Nate Skoog and ask if he'll. Mm -hmm. We don't know even where it's going to be held yet, right? No, I have. It could be here, could, it could be there. Be Zoom. I, I don't well, know. it could be Zoom. Right. Um, are they open yet down there? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So it might be here. <laughs> or it might be Zoom. <laughs> or Zoom. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's Hope the things we Zoom. have to get moving on. But yeah, I haven't heard from Aaron at all. So I was kind of waiting until after the holidays. And but well, don't be afraid to offer this up. Because right. they're, cause they're closed, right. I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all I've got for uh, Public Works Committee. That takes us to item nine, public safety committee recommendations. Uh, we did meet, but we have nothing to carry forward at this time. All right, that takes us to item 10, public welfare. We did not meet. Item 11, park board. We did meet, and we do not have anything to bring forward. Item 12 is the board may convene into closed session pursuant to Wisconsin statute 19.851G for the purpose of conferring with legal counsel for the village of North Hudson who is rendering oral or written advice concerning strategy to be adopted by the body with respect to litigation. Motion to go into closed session. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we're moving to closed session. Thank you, Thank you guys.